Hello everyone, I'm Laurel and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be testing out some Timu products that I'm going to be using with resin. Today I'm going to be working on some keychains. Um, they're just these type. You can attach it to a purse, you can use it as a keychain, um, you can just hang it in your car. But I got these six molds and I got it from Timu and I've been buying a lot of stuff from Timu lately maybe more than I really should but I wanted to try out just like a few things that I had purchased from there and just make a couple keychains um, I didn't really plan on doing this um, I just wanted to try it out so I figured since I'm trying them out, I might as well just film it. So let's get started.
Okay, now I'm done with this. Um, I just wanted to try these out. Um, I've got, I got these molds. This one actually ripped. Um, it was difficult to get this one off for some reason, and it ripped. But I got six molds, different shapes. The only one I didn't use is this one. It reminds me of a badge, and I didn't use it. So you get six molds, and then you get um, the silver and the gold keychains. Now, I got these from Timo, and the six molds with the keychains um, are considered 16 pieces because they count each keychain in each mold and that was only $2.49 and then I used these 3D resin nail charms and you get a hundred pieces and those were a dollar ninety nine and the other ones that I used were these little white flowers and those are the 3D flower nail charms and they have micro beads in there and I paid $1.49 for those um, I was going to use these. Um, these are also the flowers and the micro beads, and they also have little diamonds in there, and or well rhinestones. And these were a dollar forty nine, and I don't remember what the price of these are. They're just like little candies, and those were under a dollar, I believe. So, and then the glitter I used is just. Uh, Dollar Tree glitter that I purchased. Um, so all in all, um, I think these really made quite cute little keychains. I do have to go back and clean them up a little bit. Um, you know, file the edges down just slightly. And then I just have to put these in and you'll see the end result at the end of the video. Here are the finished products. Uh, after I got them cleaned up, I just did a layer of resin on both sides and cured them. Um, I used my glass tile and sticky tack. So I would do the top part first, turn it over, and then do the underside after you know the top was cured. Um, all in all, I think the Timu products were great. I had no problem with them. I do have a whole lot more that I purchased from Timu. So I'm definitely going to have to do a video on Timu haul <laughs> because I did buy a lot and a lot of them were the molds. Um, I got to say the one that ripped, uh, I think that was my own fault. I got some resin over the lip of the mold. And when I was trying to take it off, I wasn't releasing it properly. So it, it was kind of cut underneath the resin. And when it pulled, it ripped. So other than that, the molds are great. I have no problem with them. Um, the 3D nail art pieces, they're beautiful. I had fun with them. This was just, you know, playing around with um, some new items I purchased. It wasn't a tutorial or anything. Um, I know in the video, I was kind of going back and forth and back and forth. And it was a little chaotic. Um, I didn't really plan on making the video. I was just going to, you know, play around with the molds and add the little pieces in. And then I thought, well, you can just make the video. So, um, out of all these, I thought the little bears would be my favorite because I like little bears. But unfortunately, there's a big bubble there. And after all the, you know, the lighter, trying to get rid of bubbles and removing bubbles with the paintbrush, I still got bubbles. There's, <laughs> you can see little bubbles in there. But that's fine. Uh, sometimes it just adds a little character to your piece. So... With that being said, I thought this would be my favorite, but then it turned out that I think this is my favorite uh, for some cheap little glitter. 
and a couple little flowers and some micro beads. It turned out really pretty. I do like these also. They're very cute. You, know, you can hang them on your purse, your backpack, use them on your keychain, hang them in your car if you'd like, whatever you'd like. Um, you could also use these as pendants. Um, I think these would make really nice pendants too. So if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell for further notifications of my upcoming videos. Also in the description box below, I'll have links to the keychains and the 3D nail art. Um, also in the description box, you'll find links to my jewelry, my artwork, and my photography. Thank you again. See you soon. Bye-bye.